Hi, this is Beth Sieber, Indian River County Fluid Artist. Um, I want to welcome all of you this evening. We uh, had an announcement today from the governor, and we're going to be um, staying put for a bit in our homes. So I went out and ran out real quick. Sorry, governor. Um, and I got some extra canvases so I could continue on with these lessons in case you wanted to do this um, homeschooling project with your child. So, you know, your kids don't have to be bored at home. Y'all can do something fun. As my mother would say, you guys can do something fun together. I just sprayed some water on that canvas. And the whole key to this is, is to make certain that um, I use things that are from the household. Hopefully I have the entire canvas in frame. I'm gonna sit down now and I'll be able to work in front of you this time. I've kind of not been real good with this camera work. I'm not a cameraman. So the first thing we're gonna do is an experiment. I have no idea, kids, how this is gonna turn out. Mom and dad, no idea. So you can buy regular black paint. You can buy Valspar black paint from, well, right now you're limited where you can buy things. So I would go with Artist Loft right now because Artist Loft is readily available at, um, on Amazon. Right now you're gonna be limited to Amazon. I don't believe Michael delivers at all. We're still on the eight by 10 canvases. We're gonna stay on these small canvases because really honestly, we're not to the level yet. We can move to bigger canvases. I have much bigger canvases. Our experiment involves these dragonfly glazes, iridescent. And we've got blue gold, we've got green gold. Actually, let me go through this. We have over here, this is red gold, this is blue gold, and then this is green gold. And what we're gonna do is called an open cup. So remember how we set up before, if you, you're, on, you're on what, week four now? You know the setup. So of course, the back of it has painter's tape on it, put down, and then these big tacks I got from Amazon, for not a whole lot of money. Okay, so, and I'm certain that, you know, this is a lot of fun for adults to do, and it's really relaxing if you um, don't go overboard with it, and you just kind of try and have a good time with it. So the first part of this is, is that I'm gonna go ahead and put black down on my canvas. Now understand you can put black down on your canvas using the blow dryer and blow it just across the canvas. I have an omelet turning spatula. Um, you probably won't have one of those. It's not a big deal if you don't. Um, you can use one of these um, popsicle sticks readily to go ahead and just move the paint around the canvas and just cover the canvas. Okay, just you just basically just want a coat on there. It doesn't even have to be a fantastic coat because honestly, if I see an error, after these are dry, I'll go in and touch up. So for right now, we just want it basically on your canvas. I like to get my edges while I'm here. I mean, you know, you might as well get your edges since you're already here and you're you're got the black the spatula out. So the real trick of this is black. This is my Lazy Susan turning board that I got for I think thirteen dollars or eleven dollars at. Lowe's. Tomorrow will be your last day if you're in Florida to go run to Lowe's and get this stuff. You can run and go to Michael's and pick up these 8x10 canvases too. That to, Because after tomorrow I believe that we are only supposed to do essential travel. So it's like doctor's appointments, grocery store. I, I don't think Michael's is on the list. Although I would, I would, I would swear Michael's is essential for, for me because I love to paint. I'm painting. I actually started a business painting on the 5th. I was going to sell my art for the first time ever. I have years and years of art piled up. So I'm just basically teaching you really old techniques that have been around forever and sharing them with you and your kids so that you guys have something fun to do together. 
Okay, I don't know if this painting is even gonna turn out. I have no idea, no clue. And you know, honestly, with fluid art, you really don't know. Part of the process is letting go and understanding that however it turns out, it turns out there's no such thing as wrong artists. I mean, bad art, they're just, it's, your art is not wrong. Just like God doesn't make junk, art is not wrong. So, um, I really feel like we're coming together as a community and we're gonna be stronger after this. And I'm really glad that the stay put order is finally in place because now, you know, everybody that, everybody doesn't, isn't gonna infect each other, hopefully. You know, that's gonna, we're gonna be able to contain this and get past it and move on with our lives. And we're all gonna be better for it. Now, remember, the rule is I cannot use anything that you guys do not have at home. So I'm assuming you have the cups at home at this point. These medicine cups can be bought. Oh, that didn't, that didn't cut real pretty. These medicine cups can be bought anywhere. Um, I, I think I got these at the dollar store. So I'm going to put this right in the middle of my canvas right here. And I'm going to set that down. And now, I don't know what's going to happen with the iridescence, so kind of wish me luck. And we'll wish all of us luck because we're doing it together. And we're going to kind of see what happens. So I'm going to add a little bit of the red. I'm not even going to be able to see. You're going to be able to see better than I'm going to be able to see. A little bit of the red. All right, put that in the bottom. And then a little bit of the blue. So red and blue is going to make purple. And that's more than a little bit of the blue. And then some green. And this isn't really lifting up, so I'm gonna squirt around it. Oh yeah, it is there, it's coming out. See, it's starting to move out, thank goodness. So some more red. All right, and then I'm gonna go with some more green. Let's move up that way. Let me go that way and see if I can. More green. And then some more blue. Ooh. Ooh, no. Move. Move. Move a different way. We gotta we gotta kinda take a turn here, buddy. So I'm going to see if that will go that way now. Add that in. There we go. Ooh, no, 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 not off the side. Please, not off the side. Edge catcher, edge catcher. Okay, I'm going to tilt it to try and keep this, the majority of the paint on here. And see right now, I see his white and, 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 and black. So I'm not even seeing the iridescent color showing up, which is kind of scary for me. So that may mean that this is just going to be a, a black and white painting and we have no earthly idea what else it's going to be. There we go. It's taking off. There we go. Go, 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 go. Fly. Put a little bit more in here. Go, hurry. To the north, to the north, to the north. Go to the north. I'm pushing to the north. Take a hint. Go. Doesn't want to take a hint. It's like ignoring me. Which is, you know, apropos, I guess. So I'm going to kind of move some of these cells down here a little bit. And over here and down a bit. Now I'm really expecting this to turn up to be something. Black is awful to work in parents only because of the fact that it just shows up on everything. You know, you get a color someplace else, you can walk around with it and nobody notices. But black, it's gonna show up everywhere. There we go, that's the last bit of the red. Now hopefully this is gonna turn some color. That's the idea, behind it at least. I'm gonna pick this up. Once we're done, you pick it up and you grab it. Okay, and you wipe that off so it doesn't go anywhere else. Okay, so we got a big blob of white. So right now, as far as I can tell, 
we have a white and black painting. Which white and black painting doesn't bother me at all. I like white and white and black. It's you know pretty and goes together lovely for me. Um, however, we may find something in here as we go. I I, I have a hard time believing that iridescents are just white, just white, you know, because it's got blue gold on it. Well, I would say blue gold if it's not blue gold, but we'll find out. Okay, so I'm just going to tip to the very edge here and try and just get this part. Now remember, parents, I'm on a Lazy Susan, so like you can also do this and it causes things to spread out. But if you do it too fast and let your kids do it too fast, it flicks paint around your house, which is not what you want. You don't want any more to clean up. You've been cleaning your house for days now. So we, we, we want to have fun, but not like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and tip a little bit more this way. See if we can get this just tipped off right here. Just this little bit, because it's looking like a lot, right? I saw Rachel Ray doing Facebook today for free. And I was like, go girl. And she was doing chicken pot pie, which I know everybody wanted because... Rachel Ray is the bomb. And so I was like, oh my gosh, Rachel Ray is up there and she is like talking to people and doing it and giving back in a time when our country really needs it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, you, okay. Before I do this, we have to heat this. You guys, I use a torch because I started years ago. You guys use a heat gun. You can get a heat gun from Amazon. Okay, and let's see if we do anything to this. May just end up being a black and white painting. Could end up being that way. You never know how it's gonna end up. I don't see any colors coming, so it could be. And if that is it, then, you know, I'm happy to live with a black and white painting. So the great part about this lazy season is just, you know, when you need to, you can turn it. And it, you know, when you're working on much bigger pieces, which I do work on bigger pieces, it's really convenient. So the little pieces aren't, you know, really isn't a necessity, but it keeps all the paint. It's made of plastic, so when the um, paint actually dries it's not going to stick okay so now this has been what i would call a complete failure because we don't we, i mean it's not a complete failure because a black and white painting is pretty i mean there's something very novel about having a black and white painting and in a lot of ways i'd like to just keep it to see what happens but this really isn't about me this is for y'all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start here and I'm just going to start grabbing colors that this is metallic blue. And then I'm going to put in some, um, let's see, kind of out of metallic blue and some magenta and some red. Let's get the red top off here. Red, because we just didn't see what we were looking for. And then we're going to go with gold because I love gold. Y'all know I love gold. And then we're going to see, now see it's starting to come out underneath. I'm going to do some green gold. Here we go, green gold. And none of these really paintings I'm doing for sale. I'm, I'm really doing all these paintings for you guys. So you have an, ex you know, oh gosh, that got everywhere. You guys have a reference point of, you know, somebody's something. Now, one thing I did discover is, and um, Pat Patricia Vassell told me to do this, is put enamel paint in with your regular acrylic paints, and they tend to um, do a little better. You get a little bit better cell action, which is always quite lovely when you can get better cell action. So let me put that back. See, I'm going to pick up this one. 
Okay, that one goes a little bit better. Yeah, that one goes better. Okay. And you just, you know, you're not even really thinking. You're just kind of adding and, you know, you're like, whatever. Whatever comes, comes. And you're, you're hoping it turns out good. But, you know, oh, tops on here again. Let's get that thing going. It's got to move. Can't sit there. I want to do some, some of this on that. And so, there's quite a bit of paint on here. I, I would not have done a double pour had I not been on camera. But since this is called making the best of what you have going on. And so, that's kind of what we all have to kind of do right now is improvise. Just improvise, improvise, improvise. And we're going to get through this together. And I want everybody to just remain at home and positive and constructive and don't fight with your brothers and sisters and listen to your mom and dad because they love you and they're worried about you. Trust me. Moms and dads don't have kids not to worry. I mean, it's like our, it's like our full-time job to worry about our kids. It really is. Okay. And so then you put just a little bit more. And that's why these dessert bottles work so well is you just can squirt. You've already mixed them. Everything's pre-mixed, pre-made. You're ready to go. You kind of go back this way. I guess I'm going back that way. I want to go this way. And so, um, I would say you guys got to look on the positive side of this at home. Get to do art. You get to talk to each other on the phone. That doesn't happen when hurricanes happen. Um, there's electricity and you're not dying of heat. So that's a positive. That's always a plus when, you know, you're not having to have the heat problem. And, you know, everybody knows you're there. The government is fully aware they have people in their homes. So it's not like you're abandoned or lost. It's just for this time, we need to kind of sit it out and be safe. So everything's gonna be okay, kids, and I want you to just do your art and relax and know the beautiful things that you're making for your, you know, you should make one for your mom and dad. You really should. I mean, they're probably so worried right now. Now, see, I'm gonna tip a little bit. And parents, let your parents tip, don't you tip, because you're gonna get upset when your tip doesn't work. But this is called improvisation, and sometimes improvisation works out better than our original plan. And that's what's going to happen with all of this, I promise you. So, I just want you guys to trust me that, you know, um, the thing you were counting on happening next week, or next month, it's going to happen, or, you know, tomorrow, it's going to happen a week from now. I know when you're a kid, it seems like everything takes like a million years to happen. I remember always thinking that. And then when I got older, I realized how fast everything moved. I mean, like life just flies by you. So take this time and enjoy it with your family. You know, be nice to your brothers and sisters. Don't pick on each other. I mean... Chances are, you know, whenever you're upset, share the TV. That's a, that's a novel idea. Share the TV. You know, listen to your leaders. Listen to mom and dad. Don't fight. Whatever you do, just don't fight. You know, and whatever your parents have to feed you, be grateful. Because I'm telling you right now, there's not a whole lot to pick from out there. I've been out there and... The food was pretty scarce. And mom and dad are doing the very, very best they can for you and they love you. So, with that being said, mom and dad do the torch, right? So here we go. Turn the torch on, light it up, and let's see what we get. Now I'm not expecting a lot of cells because there's a lot of paint. So I, I want to see with that big red blob, which honestly I'm not wild about the red blob.
Well, there's things coming up in the red blob. But let your parents do this. Have faith, it's 30 days. It's it really, in, in a lifetime, it's nothing. It's, as long as you guys make it out safe and healthy, that's all we're looking for. And that's all anybody expects of anybody at this point, is just to, to survive. But I want you to try and do it with some, you know, find something to do. Maybe painting isn't your thing. I don't know why, but maybe it isn't. Everybody's a painter. It's the beauty inside you coming out. But if you're not a painter, why don't you try writing? Help your brothers and sisters with their homework. I know they need it. So, you know, try and make dinner for mom and dad once. I know, you think mom and dad are paying me for this, but I swear to you, it's not a paid solicitation. I had to actually attest to that to have this put on YouTube. So this is the end painting for you guys. I think I'll probably end up orienting it. I don't know, maybe like that or maybe like that. I'm not certain, but I'll figure it out and I'll post it. I want to thank everybody. See those dots are turning a little blue now. The white is turning a little blue, but I don't think it would have made much of a difference. It's it's not really any different color in here in the pan. And um, I want to say stay home, stay safe, listen to the authorities, do whatever they say, don't get in trouble, listen to your folks, they love you. No parent has children not to love them, they just don't get involved with having babies if they don't love your babies. So. Everyone is looking out for the best for you. I know staying away from your friends for 30 days is hard. Do some art. Just develop a new skill. Find something else. And trust me, you will do wonderful. I want to thank you so much for watching. This is week four of pandemic paint pouring. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw that sometimes something that turns out bad can turn out good. And I hope that that's what you do with this time you have off now. So um, God bless you and thank you for watching.